My guest Trey says he found naughty text messages between his girlfriend Olivia and other men from her past. Olivia says she's ready to get married, but Trey is having second thoughts. They want to know if I think they should tie the knot. Everyone, welcome Trey to the show so we can get his side of the story. Why don't you trust your girl Olivia? There's a couple of reasons why I don't trust Olivia. Mm -hmm. um, Olivia has recently started off with the father of her son. Okay. Um, he will call 2, 3 a.m., 15, 10 to 15 times. Um, there's times where he even texts her, hey, I want to with this your family, you're not going nowhere. Um, that changed because um, I bought her a new phone, I changed her number, um, and then it went on to where I was on DoorDash on her phone ordering food, and the message came on and said, um, you making me horny. Then I was curious, looked in the messages, I asked her, who was this? She had her ex. So after you had already gotten rid of the phone, so that she wouldn't communicate with her ex. She gave the number back to him. Uh, this was a different guy. Oh, this is a different guy? Yeah, this is a different guy. Okay. And I asked, why were you texting? And she told me that she was bored. Um, so let me be clear, how long have you two been dating? Uh, five months. Um, been five dating. months you've been dating. Correct. And during this time, you've already found two men you've seen with your own eyes that she's having text messages that are sexual in nature. Correct. So how did you feel when you found those things on her phone? The board, the X part, it kind of made me feel like I was born, or was I born to you? Um, you know, for you giving me that reason. Mm -hmm. um, the baby, the baby daddy issue. Um, it was more so one of those things where I knew the type of person he was. It was more so a jealous side of his end. Does Olivia talk to a lot of men? Uh, she had more man friends than female friends. She had one particular uh, female friend that she talked to every now and then, but um, majority are men. Yeah, majority. Okay, are men. which there's nothing wrong with that. Right. But there is. Pause if you're seeing these messages Correct. that are inappropriate. What did you ask Olivia to help build the trust back in your relationship? Cut off majority of the male friends, um, mm -hmm. just to give us time on our relationship to go out more, talk to each other more, spend time with each other more. Um, so take me back, how did you two meet? I uh, started off on Instagram. So we started texting and um, we seen each other maybe two or three times and then everything really started when she got into a bad car accident. That, and this is five months ago. Yeah, five months ago. And that's when everything just instantly changed. We started having deep conversations. Um, the next day she got out the hospital, she, I told my mama about it. I said, she got to come. Got it. So she, she had an accident. You went to her side after y'all had been just talking on Instagram. Yeah. And then you said it went quickly to the next yeah, level. Yeah, it went quickly to the next level. Understandable. Do you two have kids together? So her daughter is biologically not mine, um, but I've been there. I take care of her. I signed her birth certificate. Um, so I've been there raising her to step it away. She the reason wow. why, you know, I became a father. You signed the birth certificate. That's a big step. Yeah, yeah. So she made me a father, so. Mm. No, I never cheated on Trey. Okay. Yeah. And what about these messages? The messages was just that. They was just messages. Why were you just texting them back and not blocking them and telling them I'm in a relationship? I didn't think it was really a problem because I didn't flirt with them, so. Mm. Mm, you see that got a reaction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I, he said earlier that you're typically friends with males, which again is fine, but in the context of this, you know, so are you typically only friends with men? I have female friends too, but it's like most of them were males, so, but I cut a lot of them off, so it's like now I only have two male friends. Mm. Can you like kind of tell me what was like the main issue so, I can, so we can have a better understanding of why they couldn't be cut off? I don't think it was a problem because I did cut the, the ones I needed to cut off, I did. I only have two friends now. My two friends was never a problem in the beginning of the relationship, and I knew them before him, so I don't think I should have to cut Why off. Why didn't it work out between you and your ex? <laughs> <laughs> Feelings changed everything, so it's like we Feelings changed on his part or your part? My part. Okay, so he still wants you. I, he Definitely do. Have Definitely. your feelings fully changed for him, really, in all sincerity? Yes, they have. Fully? Yes. Okay. I feel like you said feelings... yes, like you tried to convince me. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. my feelings have changed. Okay. I got a question for y'all. How old are both of you? 20. You're 25. 20 years old? Okay. I'm 25. You're 25. Got it. 25. All right, so how does um, Trey keep you from seeing your best friend? He would plan something on a date. I'm supposed to see my best friend. So he would get us to do something together instead of me going to see my best friend. A lot of that is because there's a lot of planning y'all do that I'm not aware of. Um, and then the second one, it'd be like one of those things where my trust wasn't fully still there. 
You know, it's like after you see something like that and then you want to go hang with another dude by yourself, it's like it kind of puts up in the air like, am I Do you understand that? that? About yeah. like why? You ain't give me a chance to tell you. Oh, because he found it. Right. Before he should have given you a chance to, to tell you. But what about the second guy? I was just talking to him because I was bored. I mean, so that, was, that was just conversation. Because you're bored. Yeah. So in, in your opinion, what do you think that is the root issue of your relationship? I think he gets jealous because I talk to other guys. I think he just wants me to himself and don't want me talking to nobody. So you think root issue is jealousy? Yeah. And where do you think the jealousy started? Why do you think it started? Because the messages. Jealousy could play a part. I will admit to that. Jealousy could. I could see myself getting jealous. But it's one of those things I want to make sure like she's secure. Like I said, she's a good woman. And... When you see messages or you find stuff like that and you see her engaged back or you don't see nothing saying, hey, you know, my boyfriend wouldn't like this, you know, hey, stop. Why haven't you said that? You said it's because I was bored, but that's not really a valid reason. The people know I'm in a relationship, so I, sh I don't think I should have to tell them that. In a man's head, it's like, when you see multiple text messages saying, oh, you making me horny, are you doing this? Like, what are you doing to make them horny? You know what I'm saying? So it's like one of those things That's where not just a man's head, that's in a human being's yeah, head. If you I see your partner out. talking to somebody else. Olivia, how is Trey with your kids? He is great with the kids. They love him, so he, he provides for us. Anything we need, he'll get it. Is that what you like most about him, that he's yeah. a provider? Yeah, I like that he has a connection with my kids, yeah. Got it. Well, I want to hear from my friends in the audience and see, does anybody have an opinion on what you're hearing on this stage? <laughs> what are your thoughts? Little bro, that's not player. You don't change the phone, you change the girl. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Let me tell you one thing. Like the one who like you, not the one you like. Mm. You won't put up with this stuff. And you're too young to get married. Mm. So the answer is no and nah. Mm. Okay. Peace. I think every relationship goes through its bad times. You know, every, no relationship is perfect. No relationship, there's gonna, you can jump in another relationship tomorrow and you're going to have problems in that relationship. It's about, to me, it's about how you get through those problems. What are you doing to go through that? Are you going to counseling together? What are you, you know, are you reaching out? What are you doing, you know, to help keep your relationship strong? If you, you know, you look at it in a di bigger picture, there's technically three kids involved. My one, her two, you know, this is a, this is a big family that's going in within just five months. So it's like, you know, not only do we want answers or help, you know, we want to think what's best for us, what's best for our family. I hear it. So. Okay, I got it. I understand. All right. Um, so, um, with that being said, um, I just want to tell you and talk to you, um, you know, that I love you. Um, this wasn't just, you know, something just, oh, put us out there for embarrassment, anything like that. Um, this was just something truly me wanted to be with you. Hold on. If you're about to do what I think you're about to do, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. She's smiling. Don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This ain't the moment. I love love on my stage. I love it. But I'm not going to do that to you right now. So go ahead, turn back around. <laughs> Here we go, young brother. OK? I, I saw what was going on. I, I saw what was going on. I can assume what you're about to do. Were you about to do what I think you're about to do? All right. Were you about to try to propose? Oh. Yes, okay, good. Yeah, you, you play too much. Okay, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop that right there, okay? Listen, I appreciate and I love the fact that you want love so much. And I appreciate that you found somebody who you do love. But this is not the love that deserves a title of marriage uh, and going to that next level. Where you're at right now, I didn't say it can't happen in the future. But y'all ain't there yet, okay? Why do you, you think that? Oh, girl. <laughs> girl, you really asked me yeah. that question? Well, first of all, it's only been first five months. So let's start there. Okay. Five months. Secondly, within five months, he's already caught you having interactions with other men twice that were sexual in nature. And, other, and, the, and your only excuse to that is, well, it don't matter. I don't think I should, I don't, he should let me tell him. Those were your words. You, you brushed it off as if nothing. And no, then you but kept, I didn't because I actually cut them off. So I, I'm glad that you cut them off now, okay? Mm -hmm. But for you, I'm hearing and I'm glad that I finally got that last bit of what happened in your childhood, and I'm so sorry. You're trying to create a life that you weren't able to have, but rushing to try to get it and trying to make this happen is not healthy for you. It's not healthy for her either. 
Until you heal the family that you were born into and you haven't yet. Until you heal the pain you had from that, you can't keep trying to build these families everywhere you go because they're all gonna fall apart. There's gonna be so much time for you to get that family and to get the people you love and get this wife and these things. And it may be you. It ain't you right now though. I can tell you that much. But when you woman up, you gonna know when a man texts you to say, hey, don't text me no more. I got a man over here that loves me and loves my kids. And you're not gonna do anything to damage that. You ain't there yet. And you're not there yet because you probably have your own issues. You probably have your own things that's going on. So you know this is easy right here. You know he loves you. And so it's easy, it's comforting. It's like, oh my gosh. Well, let me tell you something. I can tell in years from now, you gonna resent this. I already know it because again, any woman who really was valuing what he's trying to bring to the table, would the minute a man texts from my past and you said you're not into it anymore, you'd have been like, block, delete. He wouldn't have to tell you. <laughs> you would have did it. He's taking care of you, right? He came to your rescue, right? No? Did he not come to your rescue? I feel like we... Did he not come to your rescue? It's just a yes or no question. Did he come to your rescue in a car accident? Yeah, he was is he the one working and paying the bills? He was, yeah. Is he the one working and paying the bills? Yeah. Okay, great. So, so everything we're saying. So, of course, yes, you're going to take all those things. Why, any, any person who's in a situation where they're a single mother would take all of those things. But a woman who's going to value those things would understand not to do anything to jeopardize it. And you're not there yet. And that's I why you like can get married. I feel like that was the beginning of the relationship. <sighs> Um, I just take a deep breath on that because I want you to find love and I want you to have what you want. But when you say things like the beginning of the relationship, girl, you're still in the beginning of the relationship. It's five months. <laughs> We're not talking about 10 years for me. We're not talking about 10 years. We're not talking about y'all together three years. It's five months. You in the beginning and you already showed your cards. That's why I can't let him sit here and propose to you. Okay. <clears throat> now, you go home and you start to say, let me do what I got to do. You start to show him that I'm going to not be around these men. I'm not going to talk to these men. You're going to show him you can value him. Maybe in a year or two, yes, maybe this could be the one. But while she's doing that, if she can do that, you need to be working on yourself. And the first thing you need to do is you need to be settled with this situation over here with this other woman with your child. Get that straight before you try to bring anybody else in. I will tell you this much, though. Take the name off the birth certificate right now. Take it off. In two years... If y'all are still together and in a healthy relationship, put it back on. We're not in five months. Don't ever do that again. Take it off right now, and I'm serious. And not, uh, not, just, a, not just for you. Again, you as a woman shouldn't want his name on your child's birth certificate until you know y'all together. Until you know you're secure because you don't need to have that explanation with your child later on of like, mom, why is this man's name on my birth certificate? Why is this man? What's going on? Because then she's going to start questioning you or this child's going to start questioning you. You don't want that either. Don't do that to your child. Take the name off the birth certificate. I know the process. It's possible. You said earlier, I internalize why me. Is it me that's boring? Those are your words about her cheating. And those words are the direct response of a kid that has been abandoned and has not gotten the family structure he deserved. So you got to challenge those type of things. You shouldn't ever be questioning if someone else's negative behavior is because of you. Her negative behavior is because of her. Your father's negative behavior was because of him. The family you didn't get was because of the adults. None of it was about you. <laughs> Let her do the work. Do the work on yourself, and then y'all can figure out where y'all go from here. You got it? Yeah. I wish y'all the best of luck. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.